Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you. Ejemekuru and Ohauma communities of Obuta local government areas of Imo states have petitioned the state government over attempts to appropriate their communal lands for supposedly agricultural projects which the communities link to the federal government's Ruga project. This came in the wake of similar protests by people of Aba community in Wangele local government area over similar attempts to take over their communal land popularly called Ipaba. However, Ejime Kuru and Ohama in separate letters to Governor Hope Uzadima vowed to resist attempts to take over their lands for whatever purpose. In an open letter to the governor on the proposed accusation of the ancestral farmlands located in Ejemekuru, Agawa, Akabo, and Izumbi, aka Benkov area, by the Imo state government, the people alleged that the state government had made acquisition overtures in addition to drone service over the area ostensibly for the proposed agro-allied meat processing projects by a team, which claimed to be from the deputy governor's office. The letter was signed by representatives of, co of the communities led by Dr. Humphrey Ugo from Agua, Austin, Achunine from Ejimekuru, among others. But residents in the diaspora and co-signed by Professor Godi Obudu, Dr. Amanzi Obi from Agua. They accused the state government of trying to acquire their lands for the proposed Ruga project. Alright, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Is it true? Do you agree? Could it be the reason? You recall that recently. Um, the federal government had actually uh, released a plan for the project of, um, you know, having agricultural site according to, for within some senatorial zones as it were. So probably this is what um, this particular um, issue is all about. Maybe the governor of Imo State, as well as it is, probably has. Um, somehow decided to use that land or give out that land probably that is what it is i can tell and probably that is what this particular community people had sent and they had decided to speak up and rise against it but it is what it is if that is the case then something is strong somewhere that needs to be addressed but we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold as it were. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular new story as it is? If the government wants to give land, there are other places. In the first place, the government should not be allocating lands that belongs to communities to these people. It is of no need. And if at all the government wants to actually give lands, the government should consider you know, dialoguing with the people and um, reaching out to them, speaking with them, and probably getting their consent. In as much as the government is probably, the state government is in charge of lands and all what have you, but there are communities who are communal owners of a particular, uh, some particular space of land. The government cannot autocratically decide to do this. The government, as it were, must be able to carry its people along and address this issue by sharing you know 
with the people, reaching out to them, discussing with them, and also um, giving them a listening ear. That is the best way to deal with this matter, if you'd ask me. That is the best way to address this issue, so that people will understand what the purpose of issuing that land to, or for that regard, actually is, or worse. You know, that is just what it is. But taking it by force or trying to take it by force is really, really um, the wrong move, as it were. The communities are desperately going to fight back or kick against it. And now, it is not just fighting back or kicking against it that is the issue, but much more than that, it is dealing with the people who ancestrally owns the land. If the government will have to compensate them, why not? The government could go out, compensate these people, reach out to them, address their issues and solve their problem. If, on the other hand, the government wants to um, use that particular land, then, you know, there are ways to go about it. I beg your pardon. But basically, trying to autocratically take the land for the purpose of the Ruga is not the best. And Governor Hope Uzadima has since, you know, positioned himself as a stooge, according to IPOP, you know, as a stooge of the Buhari's government. He has positioned himself, you know, as one who is leaning on the shoulders of the Buhari administration, as it were, rather than being an independent governor of the state and also ensuring that what the state gets is what is accrued to him or to her and um, ensuring that the people get, uh, you know, justice, ensuring that the people get their own uh, share of whatever national cake it is that comes so that comes out of being there but rather than that it is sad and unfortunate that the governor has not done enough to actually paint this picture or to ensure that the people have a good understanding and uh, have um, good um trust in the government well it is what it is we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold well drop by the comment section let's know what your thoughts are don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys. I appreciate your support and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.